One month ago, I submitted over 20 Pokemon cards to PSA. I just got them back in the mail, so let's rip it open and reveal the grades. I'm also giving away this PSA 6 base set holographic magneton to one subscriber that likes this video and comments down below telling me their favorite card from this video. Now before we get to the PSA return, let's do a quick warm up opening a graded Pokemon card I ordered a little while back. Alright, let's break that seal up top. Let's carefully use this box cutter to tear open the ceiling tape come on there we go. oh man there we go i guess we're better off just tearing it open and let's go ahead and pull that out it looks like they packaged this card pretty well they got it sandwiched between two pieces of cardboard let's carefully I'm actually gonna cut it right here so that i can't accidentally slip there we go, and I can peel the tape like that. And I think now we can just open it up like so. And it actually looks like it is a CGC graded Pokemon card. That's pretty cool. I don't remember it coming with this uh, graded card edge protector. All right, let's go ahead and reveal the card, but not the grade. Three, two, one. It is a First edition holographic Skarmory from the Neo Genesis set. All right, and let's go ahead and reveal the grade. Three, two, one. Oh, okay, it is a Mint 9 CGC and it's the older blue label. And it's from when CGC was still doing subgrades, so that's really cool to see. It's got a 9.5 in centering, a nine in surface, a 9.5 in corners, and a nine in edges. Just look at the sparkles in that card. So cool how the holographic sparkles and the rest of the the card is holographic also and now let's get to the main event the psa return let's get this ripped open carefully with our box cutter i think there's actually two boxes inside of here there's so many cards they couldn't fit it just inside of one box all right get that torn open let's pull out these boxes oh it looks like they're like stuck together with tape let's get these two separated i have no idea which box has which cards how am i gonna pick which one to open Ooh, one is significantly heavier than the other let's go ahead and open the lighter one first let's get that tape cut right there now remember to keep track of which cards i reveal because you need to comment down below which one is your favorite at the end of the video there we go, now it'll open nice and easy. All right, there is the PSA logo. And we got a bunch of bubble wrap in here. Okay, and it looks like all these cards are coming out all at once. Now the box is empty. Let's undo this bubble wrap and make sure I do not reveal the cards. All right, there we go. We got a nice solid stack of cards here. All right, let's take a look at the first card without revealing the grade. And three, two, one. My it is, is the, the full leader. art Erica's Invitation from 151. Now this is not the alternate art, but it is a full art secret rare, so it is a really good card. And let's go ahead and reveal the grade three two one oh we got the gem mint 10 look at that that is awesome Whew. what a way to start off the video strong got the gem mint psa 10 erica's invitation that is an awesome start all right let's go ahead and set that to the side all right let's go ahead and grab the next card let's reveal the card without revealing the grade and three two one it is oh from 2010 it's the lugia legend card from heart gold and soul silver this is actually my cousin jordan's card that he's had since his childhood and he wanted me to get this graded even though it's not in amazing condition so let's hope we get a good grade for him even though it's not in perfect condition all right let's go ahead and reveal the grade three two one it is a psa six you know that's actually not bad because i believe this card had significant wear you can see the the corners have quite a bit of wear and i think the holographic had a lot of scratching on it maybe just maybe he could have gotten a seven but a psa six is still
still pretty solid. I hope he's gonna be excited to get this. All right, let's go ahead and set that one to the side. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next card. Now you may notice this is actually a Yu-Gi-Oh card. It will be the only Yu-Gi-Oh card in this video. This is actually a card I'm getting graded for my brother. So let's once again, hope we get a good grade for him. Let's go ahead and first reveal the card without revealing the grade. Three, two, one. It is a Red Eyes Black Dragon first edition from 2003. And let's go ahead and reveal the grade. Three, two, one. Oh, we got a PSA 8. That is solid. I think I do have a pretty good eye on these cards because uh, I looked through his whole Yu-Gi-Oh collection and this was one of the few ones that I said was worth grading, not only because of its desirability, but because I thought it would get a pretty good grade and I was correct. All right, let's go ahead and set that one to the side and move on to the next card. And it looks like this is the last card on this box and then we'll move on to the next box which has the majority of the cards in it all right let's first reveal the card without revealing the grade three two one Show and me what you it have is a giovanni's charisma from pokemon 151 this is another one of the 151 cards i recently pulled along with that erica's invitation all right let's go ahead and reveal the grade three two one oh dang it's just a psa nine i was really hoping for the 10 in this but it isn't perfectly center so i knew going into this that we would get a few nines unfortunate all right let's go ahead and set that one to the side and let's move on to the big box which is much heavier and has the majority of the cards inside let's get this box cut open all right, let's see. There we go. The box slides right open. Now, this one does not have the bubble wrap at all on it. The cards are just sitting there ready to go. So I need to be careful. I think this time I'm going to leave them in the box and we'll just pull them out um, starting from the right. Let's do it like this. The first card is going to be the hardest to get out. And then from then on out, it should be pretty easy. All right, here is the first card. Let's go ahead and reveal the card. Three, two, one. It is the Full Art Psyduck from Pokemon 151. This is once again another card that I pulled recently on one of my 151 videos. Let's go ahead and reveal the grade. Three, two, one. Oh no, we got another PSA 9. That is unfortunate. You can see it's actually centered really well and the corners are really solid. The only thing I could think of is it's got one of those infamous 151 specs on the top left that is really really sad all right well let's set that one to the side and move on to the next card oh look at that it's a japanese card and you can actually tell from the back it's not perfectly centered you can see it's a little bit thin on the right side but let's go ahead and reveal the card three two one Kingdra. It Kingdra. is a holographic Kingdra from the Neo Genesis set. One of my favorite Pokemon, and I just love the way this card looks. And it's actually got one of those infamous swirls that everybody's after. And let's go ahead and reveal the grade. Three, two, one. Oh, a PSA 8. Okay, I think that's what I was going for. Either an 8, maybe a 9 if I was lucky, but I won't complain at a PSA 8 in this card. All right, let's go ahead and set this card aside. And let's move on to the next next card here we go we are back to an english pokemon card and let's go ahead and reveal the card three two one it is a holographic zapdos from the fossil set oh what is this corrected foil oh no does that mean that it's like an altered card or something i've never seen this before i'm pretty sure i bought the zapdos from a vendor somewhere in one of the card conventions corrected foil i'm hoping that some kind of air but i'm pretty sure that that means psa found some kind of altering or cleaning that was done so i don't know if it's even going to have a grade but let's go ahead and reveal it three two one. Oh no it says psa 7 i gotta look that up i do not know what corrected foil means let me know down in the comments if you guys know what that means either way i was definitely hoping for higher than a seven in this i think i was hoping for at least an eight Let's go ahead and set that card to the side and move on to the next card. All right, here is the next card. And let's go ahead and reveal it. Three, two, one. It 
is a Full Art Trainer Gallery Rayquaza VMAX from the Silver Tempest set. And this is not a super valuable card, so we definitely need a 10 in this. Let's go ahead and reveal it. Three, two, one. Oh, nice. We got the Gem Mint 10. Even though this isn't a super valuable card, I really, really like the looks of it. So it's a good thing we got the 10 in this card. All right, let's go ahead and set that one to the side and move on to the next card. Here is the next card. Let's go ahead and reveal it. Three, two, one. It is a Golden Galarian Zapdos Secret Rare from the Brilliant Star Set. Now, I remember this card is basically perfect. It just had this weird thing where the edge got a little bit bigger as you went up. But I'm hoping that we got the 10 in this. Let's go ahead and reveal it and find out. Three, two, one. Oh, dang. They gave it the nine because of that corner thing that I was telling you about. Dang, that is unfortunate. It's such a cool looking card. I was really hoping we'd get the Gem Mint 10 on this, but you're never gonna get all the 10s. You're only gonna get some of them. So let's go ahead and set that one to the side and move on to the next card. All right, let's pull out the next card. Let's reveal it. Three, two, one. It is the alternate art Metacham V from Evolving Skies. Now this is in the same class as the Moonbryon. Unfortunately, it just wasn't as popular as the Moonbryon but it can still be a valuable card if we get that 10. So let's go ahead and reveal it. Three, two, one. It is, oh man, another PSA 9. We are just getting killed out here. Man, I really thought this was going to get a 10. The centering is really solid on it. The corners are great. I think it's just one of those things where PSA will only give you so many 10s. All right, let's go ahead and set that to the side. Let's move on to the next card. Let's hope we can recover from all these nines that we've been pulling. All right, let's reveal the card. Three, two, one. It is a hyper rare golden psychic energy from the 151 set. Now these golden energy cards are really not worth a whole lot, but this one is just so cool and it looked like it was in perfect condition. So I think it's going to get to 10, but let's go ahead and reveal it and find out. Three, two, one. It is. There we go. We got the gem mint 10. It's giving us the tens and the lesser cards, but that's all right. That is a really, really cool card and let's go ahead and set that to the side and move on to the next card let's grab the next card and let's go ahead and reveal it three two one it is oh it's the holographic dragonite v from the pokemon go set i did not personally open any of the pokemon go sets but some of the cards from those sets like this one look really cool so i bought this one from a vendor because it was in really good condition so let's hope we get the 10 on it and and three, two, one, it is. Oh man, a mint nine. That is unfortunate. I think the only thing that was wrong with this card is it's just a little bit top heavy, but other than that, it was like perfect. I needed to send in at least 20 cards to get the bulk pricing. So this is one of those cards where I kind of just rolled the dice on it. Let's go ahead and set that one to the side. Let's move on to the next card. Let's go ahead and reveal it. Three, two, one, it is the SIR War Turtle from the 151 set. And this I did pull from a 151 pack myself. This is sort of similar to that Psyduck card where it's almost completely perfect but it has that little tiny infamous 151 nick. It's not as obvious in this card as it is on that Psyduck, so let's hope we get the 10 on this. All right, let's go ahead and reveal it. Three, two, one, it is. Oh my gosh, another PSA 9. Man, they are killing me. I can't believe they gave this a nine. It's in such, man, is it just automatically a nine if you have that, that 151 spec? I like, I wouldn't even call it a nick. It's just a spec. But other than that, this card was like perfect. I can't believe they gave it a nine. Please like and subscribe to help me recover from all these nines. I am dying out here. That is really sad. We are getting way too many nines in this video. <sighs> All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next card. Hopefully we can get some better luck. All right, let's go ahead and reveal it. Three, two, one. It is the Alternate Art SIR Iono from the Paul Day Evolve set. Now, I was super excited when I pulled this card because I knew it was a really, really sought after card. I just really hope we get the 10 in this. Let's go ahead and reveal it. Ooh, come on. Let's get that 10. Three, two, one. It is. Oh my gosh. Another PSA 9. You gotta be kidding me, PSA. 
say. What are you doing to me? Yeah, I mean, it is just a little bit right heavy, unfortunately. Yeah, you see it on the back. You can see the it's heavy on the left side. So I think I knew I was kind of like, kind of gambling on this one and just praying I'd get the 10. Unfortunately, it came back as a nine, but that's all right. It's a really cool card. It's just unfortunate that I pulled one that wasn't perfectly centered. Well, let's go ahead and set that one to the side. And anytime now, we got to be through all the nines and start pulling those tens. Let's move on to the next card. Oh, and you can tell this is probably a little bit of an older one. I can see some edge wear right here. Let's go ahead and reveal it. Three, two, one. It is... Show oh, me what you it's have accomplished. a reverse holographic legendary collection boss's way. This is pretty much the only Pokemon card I still have from my childhood. So even though it's in pretty rough shape and it even had a little bit of a bend crease right here, I wanted to get it into a slab just to hold on to that card forever. I honestly have no idea what this card is going to get because of that little bend crease in the middle. I don't know if you can see it. It's like right there. But let's go ahead and reveal it. If I had a guess, it'd be like a five or a six, maybe a five. All right, let's go ahead and reveal it. Three, two, one. It is, oh, a PSA two. That is crazy. That's too bad I couldn't get the one. Well, I've always wondered how rough PSA would be on a, oh, there you go. You can see the bend crease now. It's like, it's multiple lines. It's actually got this like dimple right here all as well. Still just a really cool card, especially because I've had it since I was a kid. All right, let's go ahead and set that one to the side and move on to the next card. Here is the next card, and let's go ahead and reveal it. Three, two, one. It is the Alternate Art SIR Maridon EX from the Base Scarlet and Violet set. I pulled this card on my 1,000 subscriber special when I opened an entire booster box of Scarlet and Violet. It was by far the best card I got out of that box. I really, really hope we can get the 10 in this card, so let's go ahead and reveal it. Three, two, one. It is... Oh my gosh, another PSA 9. We started this video off pretty good, and now it is just 9 after 9 after 9. I mean, and this card is centered pretty well. There's nothing that, like, really sticks out on it. There might be a tiny, tiny little speck up there, I guess. I don't know. That is unfortunate. We are just getting so many 9s. <sighs> Guess I'm just a little hard-headed when I uh, pull really cool cards. I want to grade them even if they aren't completely perfect. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next card and keep the bleeding going. All right, this must be another older card because I can see some edge wear on it. Now let's go ahead and reveal it. Three, two, one. It is Holographic Erica's Dragonair from the Gym Hero set. Now, this is an interesting card because when I bought it, it looked like it was in really good condition, but I didn't notice until I got home. It's got like a little bit of a dimple there. And when I sent the card in, I had gotten it mostly flattened out to where it wasn't really showing anymore, but it looks like they got it popped back out again, so it's probably not going to get a good grade. All right, let's go ahead and reveal it. Three, two, one. It is a PSA 5. Okay, so if anyone was wondering how good of a grade you can get if you've got some kind of dimple like that, PSA 5 is your answer. So let's go ahead and set that card to the side and move on to the next card. We're getting down there. All right, let's go ahead and reveal the card. Three, two, one. It is a non-holographic Dark Dragonite from the Team Rocket set. Now this card is in much, much better condition. However, it's a non-holographic, so we really need to have a high grade in this for it to be worth it. So let's go ahead and reveal it. Three, two, one. It is a PSA seven man i think i was hoping for more like an eight or a nine the only reason i could think of is it's got a little bit of edge wear down here but other than that the front of it was like perfect it's centered pretty dang well that is unfortunate it only got a seven but oh well let's go ahead and move on and let's hope we get some better grades on our last few cards all right let's move on to the next card and let's go ahead and reveal it three two one it is the ultra 
Ultra Rare Venusaur EX from the Pokemon 151 set. This is another one of the really good pulls I got from one of the 151 videos a few weeks ago. All right, let's hope we get that 10. Let's go ahead and reveal it. Three, two, one, it is. Oh, finally, we got another PSA Gem Mint 10. It feels like it's been forever since we gotten one. Whew, thank goodness. I haven't pulled the SIR Venusaur yet, but I have pulled the Charizard SIR, which you are gonna see here pretty soon. Let's go ahead and set that to the side. Let's move on to the next card. And it looks like we're getting down there. We only got one, two, three, four, five cards left. All right, let's go ahead and grab the next card. Oh, looks like we've got another vintage card because I see a little bit of edge wear here and there. It's not bad at all, but it definitely tells me it's a vintage card. But let's go ahead and reveal it. Three, two, one. It is the holographic pre-release Misty Seedra from the Gym Hero set. And right there on the bottom right, you can see that pre-release stamp. And the holographic looks really nice in this card. Hoping for a pretty good grade here. Let's Let's go ahead and reveal it. Three, two, one. It is. Oh man, a PSA 7? I feel like I was hoping for at least an 8 in this. That's weird. It looks so clean. One of those white spots is a little bit deep. That's unfortunate. Such a clean card, other than like those few areas. All right, let's go ahead and set that to the side. And we got four more cards to reveal. All right, let's grab the next card. All right, let's go ahead and reveal it. Three, two, one. It is the SIR Ivysaur, also from the 151 set. And once again, this is a card that I pulled myself out of one of my recent 151 videos. You can see it is just a little bit top heavy, but I think that was the only issue with that. Other than that, I think it's completely perfect. Doesn't have any of those infamous 151 specs, so let's hope we can get that 10. And three, two, one, it is. Oh man, another PSA 9. Oh, well, it's clear to see why. It's just because it's just a little bit top heavy. That is unfortunate. Well, let's hope we're just saving our luck for that Charizard SAR because that's where I really need to hit the 10. Let's go ahead and set that to the side. All right, let's move on to the next card. And three, two, one it is oh it's the charizard ex promo card from the premium collection box now i know this card isn't completely perfect but i just threw it in because i needed to hit that 20 card minimum but it is a really good looking card so let's see if we can get some good luck on it and three two one it is oh see look at that we got the psa 10 even though it's not perfectly centered it just goes to show you it just depends how the, the psa grader is feeling at that moment you can clearly see see it is a little bit bottom heavy as opposed to the top but you know what i'm not going to complain at least we get in some tens even though i'm sad about some of those other cards getting nines all right we got two more cards let's go ahead and take a look at the next one and three two one it is a first edition holographic dark arbok from the team rocket set and it's got a little swirl in the holographic in the bottom right i'm really hoping for a good grade on this card even though it is a vintage card and it's got a little bit of wear i'm i know it's in pretty solid condition there is no major major damage on this so let's hope we get a good grade and three two one it is oh my gosh another psa 7 i was really hoping for an 8 here where is it making it a 7 the holographic is super clean it's really well centered the corners are really solid man and there's like very little edge wear why is this not an 8 that is crazy hopefully that means we got the 10 in the 151 charizard sir and that must be what the final card is it must be Let's go ahead and reveal the final card of this video. And three, two, one, it is the Charizard EX SIR from the 151 set. By far the most expensive, rarest, most sought after card I've ever pulled. I actually pulled this from a 151 mini tin a few videos back. <sighs> And you already know, we really, really need to get the 10 in this card. Please like the video to help us get that 10. We really, really need to get this in a 10. All right, let's go ahead and reveal it. Three, two, one, it is. Yes, we got the gem mint 10. Woo! 
That makes all those nines worth it. I cannot believe it. This must be why they gave me so many nines on those other cards because this is what we really, really needed. I was actually on the fence about sending this to Beckett to try to get a uh, to try to get a Beckett ten, but there was just one corner that isn't perfectly rounded so i decided to send it to psa and i'm so glad we got the 10 in this video that makes all those nines almost worth it don't forget please like subscribe and comment down below telling me which card in this video was your favorite